for Pastor Steve Sterling from the Dallas Revival Center here in the heart of heaven, or the heartbeat of heaven, Dallas, Texas. You know, I just had uh, a couple things to say. It's not going to be a long video, but for those of you that are experiencing some warfare or extreme warfare or you've been challenged and uh, you're up against it, things don't seem to be working out well, and uh, you know it's a demonic activity, a satanic uh, instruments of um, oppression and a lot of these things that the enemy is trying to propagate uh, and uh, against you and negate, you know, the benefits that God's given, which is impossible to do if you're hooked up with God. But, you know, uh, one of the main keys is sowing, uh, sowing to bring down the enemy. I've got two scriptures I want to just briefly mention about that, and then I'm going to talk about some warfare uh, victory scriptures. But in Exodus 23, 19 and uh, through 20, in the King James Version, it says, uh, The first of the first fruits of thy land shalt thou bring into the house of the Lord thy God. The first of the first fruits of the land shalt thou bring into the, into the uh, house of the Lord thy God. You know, we're talking about first fruits. And uh, this is playing out, this is December 1st, so, you know, this is the last month of the year. We're closing the books on 2021. New books are being opened for 2022. So a lot of people do so uh, first fruits in uh, the month of uh, January, at the 1st of January, uh, and um, so offerings. Indicative of, uh, and a few times at times 10, um, of what people want to, or or a hundred, whatever, uh, what people want to receive uh, within that year, they bring a first fruits offering for the new year, and uh, that happens a lot. But in the first fruits of the land, thou shalt bring into the house of the Lord thy God, into the house of the Lord thy God. All right, bring it in. Thou shalt not seed a kid in his mother's milk. And then verse 20, Behold, I will send an angel before thee to keep thee in the way and to bring thee into the place which I have prepared. I will send an angel before thee to keep thee in the way and to bring thee in the place which I have prepared. So God wants us in the place and the position, postured, and uh, living right and ready uh, for the wealth transfer. And uh, I'm speaking that. Uh, from the end of this month on all the way into uh, January 1. A lot of people go broke in, in Christmas uh, uh, activity and don't have any seed left for January to uh, kick off the first fruits uh, for the new year. I'm not wise, not a wise thing to do. Uh, because God says he would send an angel, you know, to keep me in the way and then uh, to bring thee into the place which he has prepared. So God has a specific place and strategy that he wants to execute uh, for you uh, to move into as this new day, new year approaches. I mean, one very, very uh, popular scripture is in Psalm 65, verse 10. Uh, you, you water its furrows abundantly, talking about God as, as opposed to agrarial blessing here uh, for the children of Israel. You, you water its furrows abundantly. You smooth its ridges. You soften it with showers. And you bless its growth. Verse 11, you crown the year with your bounty and your paths overflow. You crown the year with your bounty and your paths overflow. The pastures of the wilderness drip with dew and the hills are encircled with joy. How do you, we're talking about new life, new power, exciting, exhilarating uh impartation of God's uh, strength and his joy and his life and his uh, celebration as it crowns the year with bounty so that all of our paths overflow, overflow. Can you say overflow? Praise God. Hallelujah. So even as we're moving in that direction for the new year, I'm just saying in Jesus' name, uh, as it's the 1st of December, that God would just um, irrigate and he would inundate himself uh, with his power, presence, and purpose, just pour out in the month of December amazing things, phenomenal things, strategic things, wonderful things, blessed things, happy things, uh, uh, concert, 
of a wonderful celebration of things uh, and just make this a month that will kick start and kick drive 2022 as we end up the uh, December month with the accumulation of energy, synergy, power, resources, and divine affluence and divine influence uh, penetrating and piercing into all areas of our life and that just he would just uh, bring about such a wonderful wrap for the year of 2021 that will be in by the time January 1 gets here will be in such a, a celebratory mode such a, a festival mode such a wonderful mode of happiness and joy and pleasure and uh, goodwill that once we step our foot into 2022 it's all over but the but the shouting all over but the blessing all over but the whole year is just cascading into God's from center to circumference in God's wonderful ways and his beautiful doings and his uh, God operations of heavenly things in the name of Jesus. We declare that over the month of December. A month to remember is the month of December that it will be so amazing that it will be just postmarked, earmarked with such mandates of God's goodness and blessing that it'll be one that'll be unforgettable this month of 2021 in the month of December as it moves into January 2022. And we're praying, we're praying that anything that is offensive, anything that is degrading, anything that's debilitating, anything that would bring anxiety, worry, concern, anything that would try to intercept the blessing, anything that is strident or, or rebellious or contrary to God's word and his will of bringing heaven on earth for all that it's worth will be bound up, shut down, will be uh, cut off, and will be uh, moved back into hell and back into uh, perdition where it belongs in Jesus' mighty name right now. You know, in the King James Bible, in Genesis 24, 60, and this is the other scripture that I want to emphasize before I begin to just... Uh, Tickle, tickle the ivory, so to speak. We just kind of gloss over some warfare scriptures that will give you encouragement so that uh, your uh, mindset will not come down from a heavenly uh, reach and uh, there will be no breach and that you will stay up in that realm of God's uh, goodness uh, in Jesus' name, regardless of what chaos or what kind of um, diffusion of confusion there may be around you. And, and then we just knock all those uh, threats of uh, storm and uh, upset and um, negative things out with this with the scriptures. In uh, you know, just paint, paint with a new brush on, on fresh canvas. Uh, in Genesis twenty four sixty, they blessed Rebecca and said unto her, "Thou art our sister." Be thou the mother of thousands of millions, and let thy seed possess the gate of those which hate them. Let thy seed possess the gate of those which hate them. So we're declaring to you as you sow seed, as you do the first fruits, you know, and as you wind up this year, uh, that your fiduciary, your finances, your well-being, you know, the settlement of your peace, and so much of the uh, wonderful outgrowth of the heavenly things that God's bringing will in no way diminish as your seed will wipe out all of the things that are trying to be terse and adverse and trying to uh, shift a gear on you that you don't want shifted and trying to move you down instead of allowing the Lord to move you up. We, we declare that your seeds will possess the gate of your enemies and that multiplication principle will hit in a major way and, and do major plays, you know, he says, thy seed, that thy seed um, uh, possess the gates of, of those which hate thee and uh, be thou the mother of thousands of millions. So we're talking about an increase that's just off the charts in multiplicity, you know, exponentially. It's just out there. Can't even number, the, you know, the, the magnitude of the fallout of the Abrahamic blessing. Hallelujah. And so we want you to have all of it and be part of it, just swept up in it. 
and uh, just let God have his way. You know, Genesis 22, 17, I'll surely bless you and I will multiply your descendants like the stars of the sky, sand of the seashore, your descendants, your descendants will possess the gates of their enemies. You know, and, and over here it says of them that hate you in, in 24, 60, in 22, 17, uh, your descendants will possess the gates of their enemies. So those that hate you, your enemies, uh, a multiplicity that's just off the charts, innumerable, uh, more than the stars in the sky, more than the sands of the seashore. You can't count it. Uh, such a such an exponential increase that you can't even bother to count it. You've got so much, and you you know he, the rich treasure of God has just totally taken over and uh, given you all that God has spoken about. Because God said in Genesis one twenty eight, God God blessed them and God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply, replenish the earth. And subdue it and have dominion. See, and see, this is what it's all about. You know, when God puts it fixes a blessing and says you're going to be fruitful and multiply and, and, and replenish, in other words, it's going to just uh, come back to the top every time you empty. It's going to come back to the top, come back to the top to overflow, to overflow. And so, when God puts the blessing on you, watch out. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Because why? Because, you know, Genesis 14, 19, and he blessed him, talking about uh, uh, the Melchizedek, blessing Abraham, and blessed be Abraham, or Abram, excuse me, of the most high God, possessor of heaven and earth, because God owns it all. He's in charge of it all. He's over it all. And, uh, you know, and God has just designed it so, so specifically that when people get into the covenant of blessing of Abraham and begin to do what he did and begin to operate like he operates by faith. It's all over. But the shouting, I mean, multiplication sets in, the blessing sets in, amen. And um, uh, unlimited resources kick in and uh, the gates of hell will not prevent us. Amen. The gates of our enemies will not stop us. Even those that hate us at the gate will not be able to hinder uh, will not be able to shortchange us, will not be able to steal, rob, kill, or destroy, will not be able to employ their efforts to in any way diminish what God's bringing about. You know, you know, in my naivety, I, I just automatically think that everybody stays in the Word like I do. I mean, rolls with the Word, operates out of the Word, functions out of the Word, you know what I mean, lives out of the Word. But I'm finding out that this, there aren't that many people that actually go like that and move like that and operate in that. Uh, there just aren't that many. And um, I'm praying that that will change in the year 2022 because uh, the word of God is uh, spirit and life, John 6, 63, you know. And uh, the word of God is imperishable. The word of God is perfect. The word of God has been tried seven times, passed through the fire. It's always been tested. It always comes out on top. It, it always is in, in victory mode, celebration mode, blessing mode. You know, and so I'm praying for that to hit in 2022, even as it kicks in and God puts his foot down in that manner in December, uh, as this is the first of December and the whole month through, just as a launching pad into the infinite blessing and infinite operations and infinite kingdom um, compunction and, and functionality. Hallelujah for many of us. Glory to God. So I'm going to give you some scriptures right now that are going to just rip through, just uh, strip through and just move through. The word of God's like a hammer. The word of God's like a fire. Uh, God told Jeremiah, you know, and then Hebrews 4 and 12, it talks about the word of God as sharp as a scalpel's knife. And uh, it cuts through the hardest of surfaces and cuts through the hardest of hearts and can do so much. Hallelujah. You know, that's why we just, that's why I venerate the word. That's why I elevate the word. That's why I lift up the word, because the word will do the heavy lifting. Jesus said, take my yoke upon you and learn of me. Same. God wants us pulling with him, but he'll do the heavy lifting. In Psalm 31, 4, you will pull me out of the net, which they have secretly laid for me, for you are my strength. So any nets that have been secretly laid, any traps that have been secretly set, Anything that is trying to hit you by surprise will be nullified and negated in Jesus' name. Romans 9.23, as is written, See, I lay in Zion a stone that causes men to stumble, 
a rock that makes them fall. The one who trusts in him will never be put to shame. We're declaring to you as this final month sets its course that, and as we launch into 2022, that no one that trusts in God will ever be disappointed or put to shame. And we say in Jesus' name, there's a stone that will cause men to stumble and a rock that will make them fall. Those dissemblers and those people that are disruptive, those people that bring contention and and bring confusion and and, and delusion uh, will be dealt with by the stone and by the rock. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, Romans 9.33. Thank you, Lord. And, of course, I like this promise in Isaiah 61, 7. It says, for your shame, you shall have double. For your shame, you shall have double. I'm claiming that for everyone that's listening to this into 2022. And it starts in an escalative form. It starts in a mountain, um, a snowball effect form right now. Uh, an, an avalanche will begin in your life. Of double portion, Isaiah sixty-one seven. For your shame shall be, you shall have double, and for confusion, they shall rejoice in their portion. Therefore, in their land they shall possess the double. Everlasting joy shall be un- joy shall be unto them. So I'm saying that shame is being replaced with double portion. If there's any confusion, that that confusion is going to propel into because of God's propensities and God's love for you into a a portion for you in which you will rejoice as God makes his supreme sovereign choice to bless you. Therefore, in their land, they shall possess the double. Anybody that doesn't have real estate that's looking for real estate, I'm praying that real estate will manifest, needing new buildings, needing new housing, needing a a new uh, business uh, enterprise facilities. In Jesus' name, let it be so. And everlasting joy shall be unto them. And put joy on it. Put joy on it. Hallelujah. The Lord maketh rich and he addeth what? No sorrow with it. No sorrow with it. Wait, we decree, we decree a no sorrow manifested anointing. Lord, let this be such a lovely December, a creamy and lush and just whipped up beautiful December, just like we've never known before. Just make us drunk, make us dizzy, make us just... Uh, totally drunk in the spirit. God, hallelujah. Glory to God. Psalm 126. One, when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were, we were like them that dream. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Amen. We're going to think we're dreaming. It's going to be so good as God turns our captivity, anything that had us bound, anything that has wound, anything that it had us drowned, anything that was uh, in such a place and making such a play uh, that caught us in the fray. It's going to be taken out, taken out in Jesus name. And uh, it's going to be like we're in a dream. It's, it's like, wow, you know, did I wake up and go to heaven? Am I in heaven now? That's what I'm talking about. Thank you, Jesus. And I declare uh, double 18, Psalm 18, 18. They confronted me in the day of my calamity, but the Lord was my stay. The Lord is foolproof. Uh, The kingdom of God cannot be shaken. They confronted me in, in the day of my calamity. See, anything that has confronted us in 2021 and, and, and even trying to do that, we borrow it from the month of December. And we command in Jesus' name, and say to whatever it is that the Lord is our stay. And so if, if you can overcome the Lord, and then you can uh, stay confronting. But you, 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 you are affronted by the Lord with your confronting now in Jesus' name. Psalm 31.4, you will pull me out of the net which they have secretly laid for me, and you are my strength. And again, that was, that's a repeat. Amen. And we, we declare and we say, hallelujah. In Psalm 3, 7, uh, as we enter in the month of December, uh, not just an ember, but it will be a full force fire of festival and fun and excitement and a, a generate an energy level that we've never known before. We'll, we'll ride the crest of the high wave of the whole year. Now it's culminating in this month. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We're, we're above only and not beneath. Amen. Psalm 3, 7, arise, O Lord, and save me. 
Oh, my God, for you have smitten all mine enemies. You have smitten all mine enemies. Psalm 3, 7. You have smitten all of my enemies. And what goes along with that? Psalm 9, 3. When my enemies are turned back, they shall fall and perish at your presence. When my enemies are turned back, they shall fall and perish at your presence. Talking about the Lord and his presence. He's amped up and ramped up. Divine protection. Uh, assistance, glory to God, enemies are being turned back, they're falling, and uh, they, are, they are diminishing, and they are basically becoming extinct at the presence of the Lord, even as we bar them from the month of December all the way down the runway into 2022. That's Psalm 9-3. And I'll give you one more scripture. We're going to close it off. I don't want to make this a long video, but this is just a, an addendum. Uh, in Exodus 23, Again, 19 and 21, we read this before, but let's read it for the second time. Uh, the first of the first fruits of the land, thou shalt bring into the house of the Lord thy God, and thou shalt not see the kid in his mother's milk. Verse 20, behold, I sent an angel before thee to keep thee in the way, to bring thee into the place which I have prepared. That's what I'm talking about, place that God has prepared. He's keeping us in the way. That's for December. Moving all the way into uh, the new year, 2022, January 1, moving uh, into that first fruits offering and seed uh, that we are going to lift up and laud and applaud God with and elevate and celebrate God's making of a brand new year for us. God making the year for us. Thank you, Jesus. And I'm talking about taking us in, all of us, into that prepared place of uh, luxury, of um, of uh, liberty, of uh, freedom, of um, his divine presence and, and his divine doings, his architecture, and that which he has planned and that which he has uh, brought about and that which he works out in his glory and in his power, in his pomp, pageantry, and regality in the name of Jesus and making it our reality and God, we give you all the glory and praise. 222. This is 2222 is the end of this video. Wow, look at that. I didn't plan that this time.